So today I'm gonna to share with you my sunscreen that I absolutely adore. I love the sun. I honestly am trying to be a reformed sun worshiper. And to be honest with you, growing up in Florida, it's really hard to stay away from the sun, even in the winter months. So one of the transferable benefits of sun worshiping and sun loving, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite sunscreens and skincare products that are going to be protective for you and minimizing sun damage. And I'm excited to share with you one of these items on my list today. It actually made the EWG number one best beach and sport sunscreen. So I'm so excited. So let's dig into today's video. As the temperatures rise and the sun gets really intense, it's absolutely essential that we talk about natural sunscreen, particularly protection from both UVA and UVB rays, as well as blue light. There are natural skincare products that I'm going to share with you today that I absolutely adore. My entire family uses these items and I'm really excited to share with you these natural green, vegan, and super powerful sun blocking products with you today. So before we dig into these wonderful toxic free sunscreen products, I do want to share with you that in January of 2020, the FDA posted a report that dug into a multitude of chemicals that are so toxic in your traditional chemical oriented sunscreens. And it was a study that was pretty mind blowing for many of us in the natural skincare arena. We've always known that a lot of the phthalates and the parabens and the mineral oils, as well as some of the other harmful chemicals that you find in your everyday body care and sun care and skin care items are harmful. This FDA study literally assessed the degree of chemicals that remain and linger in the body. In some cases, they remain anywhere from three or four days to several weeks. So the absolute worst chemical that is found in the everyday over-the-counter sunscreen and skincare products with SPF in them. This includes moisturizers, tinted moisturizers, as well as sunscreen, sunblock, sun sprays. The chemical is called oxybenzone, and this is really, really horrible. They link it to breast tissue changes, early delivery, premature delivery of babies. They also link it to a reduction in sperm count in men. And it's one of those ones that lingers for weeks. So this FDA report looked at the ingredients, but they looked at also the extent of these chemicals. They looked at the time frame, anywhere from a few days to several weeks, but they also looked at the quantity. And in many cases, these harmful chemicals were anywhere from 180 to 500 times the normal okay limit that they allow. And to be honest with you, many of you are aware, many times the FDA's recommended limit is still on the more toxic level than what we really should be adhering to. So when we're talking about 180 to 500 times, it's like, oh my gosh, this stuff is literally causing a certain amount of hormonal imbalances, liver related toxicity, skin related toxicity, and a whole assortment of other challenges. So that is why I'm bringing you today's topic, particularly to dig into sunscreen. So this particular featured review of these products, I'm breaking it into two parts. So part one is going to be your everyday use moisturizers. These are moisturizers that you use and I use after I cleanse my face in the morning. So any time that I'm going to be in the sun, maybe I've showered midday after gardening or whatnot, I always apply these moisturizers. My two, two that I love. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited by this video. So my number one is Josh Rosebrook, the nutrient day cream. This is a tinted cream facial moisturizer. It offers a broad spectrum SPF and Josh Rosebrook's product is really, really great. It comes with a little tint to it. I apply it on my face and it blends in. It's enough to give a little bit of a tinted moisture, but it's not something that is so obvious. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a foundation. I really like that. So this particular day cream, it is universal and unisex. So men and women both utilize this as a follow-up to their skincare cleansing regimen. One of the reasons why this is my number one go-to, I use this every day, even in the winter months when the sun isn't as intense. It is organic, plant and herbal infused. It contains sea buckthorn, burdock, ginkgo, neem, rosehip, 
chamomile, and it has a non-nano micronized zinc oxide, and it offers a SPF of 30. This comes in a few sizes. There's a one, two, and four ounce bottle of this. One of the things that you need to know is in the world of sunscreen, there are nano particles and non-nano particles of zinc. And this is really a big distinction. There are two types of sunscreens. There are chemical sunscreens, which is what a lot of individuals use. These are the most common over the counter. Most of your common uh, products that you might grab at Walmart or Target, CVS or Walgreens, they often will have these chemical ingredients. The second is what we call physical barrier sunscreens, meaning they have some mineral degree of protection, zinc oxide being the core ingredient. Now in the world of sunscreen, we see nano zinc and we see non-nano zinc or nano minerals or nano sunscreen. And we see non-nano sunscreen or what we might call mineral based sunscreen. So this becomes critical when you're looking at the bottles you're purchasing or researching these companies, you can always reference the EWG, the environmental working group. They have a website and it will give you the rating of your sunscreens. There's an app on your phone. It's so easy to use. I use it. I just hit the barcode when I'm shopping or if I'm online, I'll, I'll type it in and it will give you the scaling in terms of the level of toxicity that a sunscreen might have. My lot of favorite sunscreen items I'm sharing with you today, these all fall in the physical barrier category and they are non-nano mineral based sunscreens. And this is really critical that you distinguish both your chemical sunscreens and then also further distinguish non-nano is what you want to be looking for. And within non-nano, there might be a little bit micronized, which means it's a little bit uh, broken down in terms of its ability to spread. But overall, these are all going to be physical barriers. So the second item on my list is by a brand that I adore. It's called Kipris. And this is Pot of Shade Heliotropic Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is a really, really wonderful white cream. And I, depending on what I'm doing during the day, if I'm going to immediately go outside after I've cleansed and washed my face, if we're gonna hit the garden, I'm gonna walk the dog, it is a very, very cream-oriented sun product. This does not have a tint like Josh Rosebrook. So depending on what my activities are going to be, I might be using one over the other, but both are equally beneficial. So Kippers is really exciting because it's both a sunscreen and a primer. So if you wear a lot of makeup or are like myself, when I go on camera, I put more makeup on than I normally would. I put on the Kippers because even the lights that I have, I have light boxes set up in my office. These are UV lights and they will cause sun damage if I spend too much time filming, but it is vegan, organic, wild crafted. It is a multifunctional translucent cream. And I really, really love it. The ingredients of Kippers are really spectacular. This particular product is wonderful for anti-aging. It has a lot of really beneficial properties for any of you like myself who have sun damage. Maybe you're also doing treatments to minimize sun damage or trying to reverse the DNA damage from being a sun worshiper <laughs> of loving the beach and the sun. The ingredients I'm going to post here, they are fantastic. They have sweet iris stem cells. They plump and smooth the skin. It also has Tamanu, which is from an organic co-op seed, and that gives a wonderful glow to the skin. Chaparral, it's one of the oldest plants and one of the most amazing antioxidants out there. Some of the best spa skincare treatments will have some element of a chaparral uh, mask that is just super antioxidant and very anti-aging, very also beneficial for reducing sun damage. It has sunflower in it that gives fatty acids and beta carotene. It also has probiotics and blue algae for enhanced hydration and suppleness. I love, love Kipris. So these are my two everyday use items. And now we're gonna go into my favorite. My favorite for all of us who have kids or you're out, you're hitting the beach or maybe you're hitting your neighborhood pool. And so I'm gonna share with you, these products are also both universal men and women and you can utilize these with your kids. So this brand I adore because they again have number one rankings in beach and sport 
on the EWG scale. So this is like the best of the best. This is the beast. So achieving a number one rating is huge. And that's why I love Suntegrity. So this cream is the natural mineral sunscreen for the body. So we use this on our arms, our neck, our legs. Um, if we are swimming or out at the beach, this is our go-to. This is grease-free. It's an SPF of 30. It applies really easily. I love this because it has 20% zinc oxide, which is a really good amount of coverage. This is non-nano. The key more so than SPF is your percentage of zinc oxide. The higher percentage, the more coverage. So when you're out in the sun, because this is sport, this is when you're out in the sun, you are going to need a higher level of sun protection. Now also the others that I've covered, they also give a 20%. So on the body, when you're out in the sun, you wanna make sure you're getting 20% nothing less than that. Sometimes there's 12 and 15, you wanna get 20% zinc oxide. One of the things I love about this are the ingredients. The list of ingredients are wonderful. It starts off with aloe, and then it has green tea, and then it has coconut oil, it has mineral-based zinc, and then it has sweet orange, grapefruit, so, so good. This is fantastic. Now what we've added to our collection this year is the stick, the mineral stick. Oh friends, this is such an easy application. So I always hit my kind of sun damagey spots up here, around my cheeks, above my lip, and then I will slather this all over our body. This is great also for kids. Gabriel, it's a perfect width for making sure we get all the areas where he's getting sun. So this stick is water resistant. Yay, bonus for all of you pool beach goers. And it lasts for 80 minutes. I love, love this. This shape and this stick is awesome because you can throw it in your beach bag. It's easy on the go. It actually has a wonderful orange scent to it, which is, this doesn't have an orange scent. This is so awesome. It is fantastic. And again, it's water resistant. You're free of a lot of the harmful chemicals, the chemical uh, blockers that are going to be very harmful. And so if you are trying to be clean and toxic free this summer while still getting UVA, UVB and blue light coverage, because many of us are working from home, we've got our laptops, our screens, blue light, is being emitted from that and is actually causing sun damage. So even if you are not going outside, it's really important that you use the first two items that I recommended, the Josh Rosebrook or the Kipris Pot of Shade. So, so powerful. So all of these products are really wonderful for when you are being exposed to the sun or technology that's emitting blue light. This covers all of your bases. Now, if you are a parent and you're thinking, okay, what do I do with my younger child? I'm going to share with you what we use as parents for Gabriel. This is an everyday sunscreen that we will use when he's out biking. If we were at the pool and doing beachy stuff, I will always use the mineral stick. But this is really great. It applies very well. It's nice and clean. This is Earth Mama Kids. This is the uber sensitive mineral sunscreen. It gives a broad spectrum SPF 40. And we are always, always using SPF on Gabriel. And that's one thing, their necks, their ears, and even the little uh, part in their hair, like he has a little part back here, he actually has like a little kind of alfalfa type of hair that sticks up. There's a part back there and I always make sure I cover that. And that's also really critical too for a lot of you. Make sure that you cover your parts or up a lot around your hairline. Now my last recommendation, obviously, when you are out and about, you can also use coverage like a sun hat. This is an SPF 55 sun hat. I love my sun hat. And make sure you have polarized UV protection sunglasses. So not only are you going to cover your skin, you're going to be covering your face. Sometimes I'll pop it up like this. So one of my tips by using sunglasses is when you have good kind of chunky sunglasses, it covers the spot over here where a lot of women experience crow's feet. So make sure you also cover with eyewear and a nice sun hat. And these sun hats you can buy online, but again, clothing and sun hats for kids is really great. There are sun shirts for children and sun shirts for adults. 
but sun hats are awesome for you ladies. So if you want to grab any of these items, I have links down below, and I'm also going to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Follow me if you love these types of tips. I have over 600 videos in my catalog here to offer you health and wellness resources, tips and tricks, and tools for you to stay healthy and well. Thanks everybody. Happy summer. I'm hitting the beach.